forecast for Sunday, April 21st. So today we have the moon in Libra all day. And of course, this is going to bring a lighter, more fluffier vibe to especially what it is that we've experienced over the last couple of days. Of course, we had a pretty rough transition, I would say, into this Taurus energy, trying to adapt and acclimate to the slower pace to the more, let's call it, presence that we have to have in our physical bodies, the more awareness that we have to have about our physical reality. We are in evaluation stage, and it has been a little bit, let's call it, narrow-minded in our ability to see the options and opportunities for growth, for balance, for harmony. Now, we have the moon now in Libra and energy going to focus on the problematic areas of our lives that need balance, that need restoration, that need fairness, that need compromise. And of course, the whole point of the moon being in Libra and energy is to first illuminate the extremes, the parts, the sectors, the sections of our lives, of our circumstances that are up and down and back and forth and crazy and chaotic because these are the areas of life that require the most energy, the most attention in order to stabilize. We are in Taurus season. If you haven't listened to the Taurus season astro forecast as of yet, I'm going to recommend you do so so that you understand what this Taurus energy is all about. And of course, I'm also going to recommend that you download the Taurus season e-guide. That is going to be your or let's call it resource to get through all of the energy shifts that of course Taurus season is going to throw at us. We just had a major astrology event take place here yesterday on the 20th between Jupiter and Uranus that closed out a 14 year cycle opening the door up for a new 14 year cycle but we're still in the phase that is going to take a little bit a little bit of a moment to figure out what it is that has changed within us especially where our worth our values our priorities priorities, our long-term goals and visions are concerned, and what it is now that we are going to be building towards stabilizing and actually bringing to life. So the moon in Libra is going to first emphasize the areas of life that we we need to stabilize and then secondary to that going to achieve that compromise that balance that new grounding point to find a new realm of inner peace of inner harmony, if you will. And of course, this is going to lead us all the way into the full moon in Scorpio energy that is going to be an absolute doozy. So we have a couple of days of really fine tuning our inner realm, our inner thoughts, our inner emotions, finding that balance, finding that peace, finding that compromise before we're going to have to let go of, release, purge the fragmented parts that we are going to become very aware of over the next couple of days that is no longer supporting us, no longer encouraging us, no longer going to be part of our story. So with that being said, there are six different aspects taking place here today. Four of them are going to involve the moon. We kick the day off with a little bit of friction between the moon in Libra energy and of course the sun now in Taurus energy. And the one thing that Libra energy and Taurus energy have in common is that Venus rules over both. Now Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she's still in Aries energy. She's getting kind of, you know, brought back to life in a way. She's tapping into a new warrior type of spirit to be a little bit more straightforward, blunt with how it is that she feels, what it is that she wants, what it is that she needs from the people from the world around her. And so the moon is going to be making a tough interaction with the sun. And of course, the moon and the sun, anytime they come together, there is a new aha moment. There's a new emotional awareness of what it is that we need to let go of, what it is that we need more of, what it is that we want to build and create, where it is that we need to stabilize. And of course, the moon in Libra energy trying to keep things light and fluffy. And of course, the sun in Taurus energy is heavy and weighted. There is going to be illumination on where it is that we are essentially realizing where it is within us, within our emotions, within our wants, needs, and desires that we have to give a good effort on reevaluating what it is that we are doing, where it is that we're going, and who it is that we want to do these things with. 
Again, the Libra energy, very focused on relationship dynamics. Taurus energy is too. However, Taurus energy is more focused on the relationship that we have with ourselves, while the Libra energy is focused on the relationship dynamics that we have with other people. And so there is going to be this inner illumination, if you will, what it is that we want to do for ourselves or need to do for ourselves versus what it is that we want to do, what we need to do for our relationship dynamics, for essentially other people. The moon in Libra is going to try and beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself in Aquarius energy. So we got some air on air action here. Of course, the Libra energy is all up in the mental plane, trying to figure out how it is that we can, you know, bring a sense of balance, of peace, of harmony, of fairness into our emotional realm. Pluto, on the other hand, is showing us where it is that we got to boss up where we got to have a little bit more power and control, not only over our thoughts, not only over our emotions, but over our actions. Pluto in this Aquarius energy is striving to do better. We have to think outside of the box. We have to break those old patterns and behaviors. We have to essentially see where it is that we can do better, where it is that we have room to improve. Now, this is going to bring up a lot of intense energies, but not in a negative way. We are feeling intensely drawn to certain people, certain actions, certain conversations that technically speaking, is going to lead us into a path, into a plan and in a strategy in order to create more balance, more harmony, more peace within ourselves and therefore in our relationship dynamics. The relationship that we have with ourselves sets the tone on every single relationship dynamic that we have outside of ourselves. So because we are in Taurus season and we are stabilizing in this new identity, in this new version of self with new values, new wants, new needs, new desires, that essentially is going to put us in a situation and a position to kind of tweak our existing relationship dynamics according to what it is that we now want, need, and desire for ourselves. So here's where things get interesting. We have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, ruling over this moon in Libra, ruling over Taurus season now. We have Venus in this Aries energy coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with Chiron, the wounded healer, also in this Aries energy. So first of all, this is definitely going to activate our heart space. We are kind of being put in a certain situation, a certain perspective where we are starting to see an element, a level of passion or forgiveness that is very much needed either within ourselves or within particular relationship dynamics. Now, the issue here is that we're being kind of drawn to the problematic areas of our lives because, first of all, we have to identify the problem in order to fix it, in order to heal it, in order to repair it. But because we are kind of, you know, focused on the issues, the problematic areas, we also are tapping into a new level of consciousness, a new level of awareness where we're able to have compassion and empathy and forgiveness or whatever the case may be for certain situations, circumstances, and people involved in these, let's say, said problematic areas. We are more easily able to kind of appreciate the faults in other people. We are more easily able to see the beauty in the human dysfunction, if you will. We are changing our inner narrative on what it is that we actually deem to be weak and vulnerable versus powerful and let's call it strengthening. We are going through growing pains. And this is part of the healing journey. It's part of the restoration that we are doing to our soul, to our, let's call it spirit, where pains and wounds and trauma have essentially blocked us from reaching this particular level of healing. This is a very good time to really step back, to take a good look at ourselves, to take a good look at the roles and responsibilities that we have, that we're playing a part in, especially where relationship dynamics with other people are concerned. And so this is definitely going to highlight some challenging aspects, either within ourselves and in some cases within the relationship dynamics that we're having with other people. But we're rising to the occasion. Again, Venus is in this Aries energy. We are bossing up. We are stepping up to the plate. We're stepping up to the blockages, to the challenges, to the obstacles. We are ready to fix and heal and repair them. That Chiron energy very much pushing us into the healing energy instead of the wounded energy. 
Then we have the sun now in this Taurus energy getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Pluto, the great transformer himself. So we know that a square creates tension and conflict in order for us to realize where it is that we're hesitant or resisting certain changes and transformations that we know that we need to make in order to boss up, in order to kind of take our power back, in order to be in a certain situation where we feel more in control. But of course, this is a growing pain. This doesn't feel good. This is the pressurized situation that we need to find ourselves in in order to make a choice, make a decision, make a change. And so there is a lot of issues coming up right now about trust, whether we are trusting ourselves, especially this new version of self, whether we are trusting the people that we are sharing time, energy and space with. And for the most part, we're really questioning our trust in the greater, grander plan, this whole life process that we are all kind of moving through. It feels very much like we are growing in, I'm going to say, insecurity, in fear. Again, reminder, if you haven't already, take a listen to this week's Ascension Forecast. We are building in these not-so-nice thoughts and feelings because we're doing some shadow work as we approach this full moon in Scorpio that, of course, Pluto has rulership over. So as the day kind of goes, we are going to find ourselves more in a skeptical type of mindset. We're going to realize where it is that we are kind of fixated on a particular topic and theme, where it is that we are frustrated or just agitated in ways that we may not be able to put our finger on. We are feeling overwhelmed with our roles, with our responsibilities. There is a lot of fear coming to the surface, especially when considering loss. Okay, so that normally happens as we're building towards a full moon because the full moon needs to fully illuminate what we have to let go of and what it is that we have to release. And the Scorpio energy is about doing the shadow work in order to release the lower vibrations and frequencies that has us stuck in fear and doubt and insecurity. So we have to expect over the next couple of days that we are going to be questioning a lot of things and we are going to be facing a lot of very dark thoughts, dark emotions, because again, that shadow is rising. And so there is a lot of conflict going on even within ourselves that will likely be projected out into some relationship dynamics. It just feels like we are questioning ourselves. We're questioning the plans that we have. Again, the greater grander plan of the universe. And of course, this is really testing our sense of safety and security. We are in Taurus season. We are definitely more focused on creating a realm and reality where a sense of safety and security and stability is more a common thing than not. But right now we have to focus on the lack in order to figure out what it is that we need to start building more of. And so ultimately, this is not a good vibe. This is not a good energy. It is going to push us into some very serious ways of thinking. And all of this, just remember, all of this Plutonian energy is meant to break us down so that we can have a breakthrough. This is about us building in our personal power. This is about us understanding that the fears, the doubts, the insecurities, all of those questionable things that we are going to examine over the next couple of days comes from the egoic programming and conditioning that we and our higher selves are now trying to override. And therefore, we are trying to build ourselves up in empowerment, in control, in order for us to feel like we actually can control certain aspects within ourselves and in our circumstances. And that we are essentially not a victim. Again, victimhood mentality, huge part of the shadow right now, um, that we are not a victim in our lives and in our circumstances. So um, again, a lot of shadow aspects, paranoia, suspicion, betrayal, you know, jealousy, all of these possessive type of issues, they're going to come up because it is revealing to us where it is that we have some buried aspects of our egoic programming, where fears and doubts and insecurities are concerned. So the moon in Libra goes ahead, makes a awkward interaction, not a good one, not a bad one, just an awkward one with first Uranus and then Jupiter. And of course, Uranus and Jupiter still very much on top of each other from their conjunction here on the 20th. They're at 21 degrees, but they are starting to kind of move away from each other now. Uranus is the slower of the two planets. So we're aspecting Uranus first and then Jupiter later. Literally, we're talking maybe 10, 12, 
13 minutes max in between these two particular aspects. So the first aspect between the moon and Libra and Uranus in this Taurus energy is definitely going to shake us up and put the scales all the way out of whack. Sometimes we need to be tipped in extremes in order for us to make our way back to a common middle ground. And because this Uranian energy likes to send a shock wave through our system, through our higher intellect, in order for us to see things from a different set of eyes, to break out of the box, so to speak, to think up of new ideas, new ways, new methods of doing things, new path, new plans, new strategies, we're definitely feeling the chaotic energy affecting our central nervous system. Again, this is like lightning bolts trying to jolt us out of our old programming, out of our old conditioning, and open us up to a level of acceptance where we are going to be more open-minded, more open-hearted to trying new things. The moon interacting with Jupiter, though, is likely going to have us on the back and forth of the scales trying to come into balance. On one side, we are feeling a little bit more optimistic and confident than we did earlier in the day. We are feeling a little bit, I'm going to say, reassured that we do have major changes taking place that we have yet to physically see in our physical realms but the hopes the wishes the dreams the desires are definitely very potent just when we sit in that good vibe equally the scales shift as they are supposed to while the moon is in in libra energy in order to illuminate the opposite, the polarized energy of that. So where we were once feeling confident and optimistic, that's going to drop off. We're not feeling so sure anymore. Where we are kind of aligning with new hopes, wishes, and dreams, and visions, we're starting to question whether or not we can actually manifest those things and bring those things to life. Because Jupiter is the great magnifier and he turns the volume all the way up on whatever it is that we're thinking and feeling, we are going to feel that back and forth, that tug of war, that push and pull, that ebb and flow very intensely. And again, the whole point of dipping into one extreme and then going to the opposite extreme is in order for us to gauge where it is that our new middle ground, our new balance point, what that actually is and how that actually feels.